All right, so in this video, I don't like to complain about the Bronco because I love the thing, but there's definitely some things that I wish it had that it doesn't. And I wish that they would have included, but they didn't. But luckily, there's great companies out there that fill that gap. And one of those gaps is, I got nowhere to place my drink back here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the little pull down with the cup holder, which I have no clue why the four doors without the leather didn't come with that. Um, but again, I have nowhere to put it. Let's go take a look at something I found that can help me find some more to put this. enough. All right, so to address that, first people I went to look for is my friends over at Mabit. Obviously, I've got a ton of products from them. I've been happy with every single one of them. So I'm going to keep pulling that trigger uh, until I find something that I don't like. But um, I know it's around here somewhere. Oh no, not this again. I caught it that time. <laughs> Take a look. All right, Mavebit removable cup holders. Rear dual cup holder installation instructions. Nice instructions, color, picture. Looks pretty simple. Uh, this packaged nicely. So you got two pieces there. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Actually includes a screwdriver. I wonder if that's the only tool that we're gonna need is what's included. Um, Feels good, feels heavy quality. It doesn't feel cheap plastic. It looks uh, very similar to what's in the Bronco. So I think it'll match up nicely. I'm looking forward to putting this in. Oh, one other thing to point out that I like is this has like the tension system, like the rubber that comes out to, to, to give your cups a good hold. Let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's in there. Looks good. Let's package this up. Put everything back in. I have a feeling this one's going to be pretty quick and easy. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Let's go. Now, not only for my rear passengers, but I'm always needing extra spots for my cups besides just the two in the front. So I'm actually looking forward to having this, especially like when I go through the drive through and have to bring drinks home for the family. Um, I think this is going to help me out tremendously as well. So I'm excited to put this in. So as you can see, I've already got the Maybit 4 mats in here. I absolutely love them. That was actually the very first thing I ever did to this Bronco was the Maybit floor mats. Um, so this is just going to go, you know, right here. Hopefully the mat doesn't come into play. The only thing that I already figured out that's not a huge deal, but it's, it's going to make it hard for me to take the mat out and dump it but because this mat is so big and you know it's 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 not as easy as the front mat just to pull up and dump i'm not really worried about it i just vacuum this out or honestly i just bring my blower and just blow the thing um but let's go ahead and get started on the install see i already need somewhere to put my drink back here now i'm worried about it spilling don't be lazy matt put it in the front cup holder like 
All right, let's get busy. All right, so I moved the seats all the way forward just so I can get access to these two panel pieces here. All right, so if you take a look at this, it's got two little clips on the side. So the best thing to do is going to be to go in from the sides, try to push those in. There we go. All right, now that we've got these out, we just got to put the cup holder brace together and then we're going to take these off. All right, so now that we have done steps one through two, uh, it says to go ahead and take that nut off. I'm going to, for once, not do that part yet. I'm not going to take that piece off. I'm going to go ahead and place the brace together. Probably would have been easier if I would have done this over at my table and not doing it from inside the Bronco, but it's looks like it's literally one screw, so shouldn't be that big of a deal. Take those pieces out. Ah, okay, so I thought I was missing a piece, but the piece was just stuck actually on the back of this. So if you if you find yourself in that situation, bam. I was really worried for a minute that I was missing a piece. So anyway, all right. So according to the instructions, I'm just gonna place this like so. Use the provided screwdriver and screws. I'm gonna line the two pieces up can only go on one side, so you can't mix it up. Repeat on the other side. And we're there. There's the brace. Now let's go back and remove the screw that we need to. Let's find out what size socket that is. All right, as instructed, gonna remove these. Repeat on the other side. There we go. All right, now that we've got those screws removed, we're just going to take the brace that we've already assembled. We're going to place it here. We're going to line up the holes. Looks good. Then we're going to reuse the original hardware. Going to do it for that side over there. Now you'll remember we took these off. These came with the Bronco, but we're not going to reuse them uh, because we have new covers that go just for the brace. I always keep my parts. Uh, I've taken out other things I've installed that I haven't reused the bolts for, the original hardware. I've kept all those just in case. You never know if you decide to take something off or something breaks and you want to cover it. Just make sure, I, I would always recommend holding on to your original hardware. Just keep it in a box. Actually, this is a perfect box. Um, and then you don't have to worry about it. So we're just going to place these on these new covers. Do the top first and then press down on the bottom. And that's in. All that's left is just to put the cup holder in spot. And that's it. Man, that looks, looks fantastic. I mean, it matches the look and feel of the console perfectly. I mean, I don't see any gaps. I mean, it looks great. Again, maybe it knocks it out of the park. Oh, let's give it a shot. It's perfect. Now I do like that it is removable, so you can pull this up. And if I wanted to take the mat out, I can. And the mat just kind of slides right up underneath it. So that's good, you know, plus if you ever need to clean this out, kids spill a drink, Heck, I spill a drink. We're still good. So, there we go. All right, y'all. So, that's it. Uh, hopefully, you found this video informative. You know, if you like the product that you saw in it, I'll leave a link for it below. Again, always been happy with the Mavic products. If you want to be notified anytime I'm posting a new video, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Only if you want to. Um, obviously, this is just a passion project for me. I do this for fun. I do this just in hopes to help even just one fellow Bronco owner 
Um, you know, if, if you like the video, give it a like. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. But until then, catch you on the flip side.